everyone, it's Lynette with Charm Grammy Crochet. Uh, coming to you from the camper today. Uh, we are camping this weekend. It is yucky out. <laughs> My husband is sitting outside under the awning. It's drizzling. It's um, been a warm day, but it's like chilly now because it's the sun's going down and it's um, rainy. Uh, and so I'm sitting in the camper. <laughs> and I thought, gosh, it's been like several days uh, since I've done a video. I will tell you, I haven't had much to show you or talk about because everything that I've been working on is for the crochet along. And I, I'm getting a glare in my own eyeballs. <laughs> um, so anyway, I, I have been diligently working on the crochet along and I, it's, I don't want to give any sneak previews, but that's what I've been doing all week. Um, Amanda and I did go yarn shopping yesterday. Uh, nothing exciting. I just bought um, yarn for the crochet along. I needed one more skein of the yarn. Okay, I will tell you this. It's red, white, and blue, uh, um, you know, for a flag. And you will need one skein of red and two each of white. I mean, sorry, one skein of blue and two each of white and red. Um, and I'm using Super Saver. Uh, I thought, you know, I want this to be easily accessible for everyone to do if if you choose to do it um and i've never really designed at one time i designed the back of the reader shaw and the pockets to the reader shaw which was just a miniature of the back of the reader shaw um and that was like a year ago and um so this is my like and the reader shaw is you know i mean if you it's way back and i in my beginning videos but um, it's like a scarf with a rectangular back and then you put pockets on it. So it's not like a real difficult thing. And this blanket, I wanted it to be, um, I wanted to, to have enough, uh, texture to it that it's interesting to look at and, and not too boring to crochet, but I wanted it to be simple enough that, um, like I'm doing it with Amanda in mind and she's been crocheting like, you know, a month, <laughs> six weeks, maybe. Um, but I don't think six weeks there will, there's one part that's going to be a little bit trickier, <coughs> excuse me. And it's at the beginning. Um, but it's not really hard. Uh, and then just some diversity, but, um, you know, you'll be changing colors because it's red, white, and blue. It's a flag. So, um, it is fitting in this bag. I think it'll be about a four foot square when it's done and it's fitting in this bag. So I th think that I will have the pattern. I'm hoping maybe tonight even, um, maybe not <laughs> depends on how well it goes, but I'm writing it and I have like a little graph going on and I have just because I'm trying to keep myself together and um, then I have notes and scratches out <laughs> um, so you know it's getting the stitch counts to be like I have to count and so that I can write in the pattern how many stitches are there are, there are. and I have to you know make sure that are you guys getting the glare that I am seeing maybe we'll try it this way oh okay how about that is that better um, so there's, um, there's a lot to it. You know, I mean, I knew there was a lot to making a pattern. Uh, like first you have to get your creativity together to like, how am I going to put it together? What do I want it to look like? Um, and be simple enough, um, that a hopefully beginner can follow, th follow up with it and then make the stitches work out right. And, um, frogging, lots of frogging, <laughs> lots of scratching out on my notes. Um, uh, I've had consults with, um, some of my crafty friends out there. <laughs> How does this work? How does this work? Um, and I think, I hope you'll like it. I'm, I like it. I think it's really cool. So that I'm going to work on in a little bit. 
Um, and then this is one whip that I brought with me that I can show you that I had also been working on. When I can't figure out what I'm doing with the crochet along blanket, um, I've been working on this mostly because I bought this yarn. This is Bell Yarn from Stitch Studio uh, from AC Moore. So you can't get it anymore or else I might have wanted to do the crochet along in this. I bought this yarn when AC Moore first, yeah, see it's Bell. Um, and it's a size six um, acrylic and I'm using a 10 millimeter hook and I don't remember it doesn't really matter what the colorway is called because it's the blue um, and red and white but I bought this yarn when they first came into uh, Ohio when you know I I think one of the first times I was ever in the store so I don't know if it was like a grand opening sale I think this yarn was usually around ten dollars a skein, but they would run it sometimes even two or three, sometimes once then once or twice three for ten bucks, and so that's when I was buying them. And I bought I had two skeins of each because when I bought them, I'm like I'm gonna make a flag blanket out of this. I just think it is so cool for a flag blanket. And then I had made a purse, uh, uh, uh Anu, uh, a purse pattern by Anu. This was before I even had a YouTube channel. And Chloe lo loved the purse. I didn't make it out of this yarn. I made it out of a different yarn, Neapolitan, a premier yarn called Neapolitan, a thick yarn. Um, I can't remember the, the colorway was Neapolitan. I can't remember the name of the color, though. I mean, the name of the yarn. Um, anyway, I'm, and I, I think I made a little cowl or something. Charlotte uh, or something out of it. So I don't, I don't remember. But anyway... I made this purse and Chloe's like, oh, I want one. And she grabbed this yarn out of my stash and said, I want it out of this yarn. So I said, okay. So I made her one and I never got a second skein again. I went into, I had two and I went through one and a little bit of a second one to make her, her purse. And um, so I had one skein left, less than a skein of this. And for the blue that I've used, this is how much I have left of the skein. So I just did a um, rectangle. I don't know. I might crochet some little stars, appliques, and sew them on. I hate sewing on. Amanda says it doesn't need it. She says just leave it the way it is. Um, and then, like, I crocheted across and changed color to the red. And then did the red. And came back with the red and changed color back to the blue and on and on and on until I ran where I didn't have enough to go down a row blue again I didn't think and I didn't want uh, maybe I could have done two you know a, a, a cross and back with the blue but I didn't want to change the white and red in the middle and I knew this was definitely it might have gone one more row because it's just a uh, half double crochet. So I might have gotten one more row of blue here. But then this would have thrown off the uh, thrown off the count for the red and white. I, I wanted it to end, you know, I'm, I'm trying to look through the holes to see. Yeah, I didn't want half of a, you know, a partial row of red. And then, you know, make it not look, I thought it would look funny. So this is not going to be as long it's wide but it's not going to be as long as what I would have hoped for um, because I have more yarn <laughs> of the red and white I've gone through one skein I just put in my second skein of, of red on this section right here and I still have this much of one skein of white um so I can probably make the 13 stripes. Um, and I don't know if I'm going to put any stars. I haven't decided. But it is so soft and squishy. And oh my gosh, it's going to look great on the back of my couch for the summer. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and I, when I bought the yarn, I'm like, I'm going to do this for, I think, probably whatever... I think the stores came in to Ohio in the late fall, um, like October, November. So when I bought it, my thought was 
for the first summer holiday. And in the U.S., the summer holidays are all uh, Memorial Day, Labor Day, and Fourth of July all tend to have a red, white, and blue theme to them. So I thought, I'm going to make that blanket before then. And, and I mean, I knew that's what I wanted to do. So now it's like two years later. <laughs> year and a half later, I don't know. <laughs> uh, at least the whole last, so a year and a half later. Um, and I'm finally making the blanket. And I really love it. But I'm only working on it when I started this, like the evening before uh, Amanda and I said, oh, let's do a crochet along. So that's how long I've been working on that. Um, just on and off when I'm not working on the other blanket because um, that's all I got. You know, <laughs> I like, I am zoned in. I keep thinking I want to be able to complete the crochet along so that you guys have time to make the blanket if you want to before the 4th of July. I mean, I knew there's no way that we could do it before Memorial Day because I'm not even going to, I mean, I'll have, hope. I hope to have the pattern uh, done by then, but I do want to have it tested. Um, and, you know, before I send it out to anyone um, or start the crochet along, you know, I don't want to do a video and, and have it be wrong. Um, I would be very embarrassed by that because I'm not, because... Probably the whole recording of the video is going to be like a little bit kind of nuts. And the plan is that Amanda and I will get together and we will just start videoing and we're going to crochet together. So I'm going to tell her what to do, show her what to do while well, I'm videotaping. So it's going to be like I'm teaching her to do it on the video. So when she gets into a problem, and we're going to do it together, so I will be probably faster than her, um, which is fine. And so I'm going to, so this, there's going to be a couple of things. I know that I will crochet faster than her, so I'm going to have to like slow it down so that we can do it together. But you guys will be able to speed up the video as you go. Um, but I'm going to have to edit this, and I have no idea how to do that. Like I'm going to have to splice things together because, you know, I'm going to tell you what to do, and then, you know, like they do, touch it at the end. Um, and, and if Amanda runs into a problem, then I'm going to turn the video back on, explain her problem, see how we fix it. Um, because, you know, this is a learning channel for me and like, that was the whole point of my, even starting the, starting this channel, um, was I wanted to learn to crochet and I wanted to share that with people and share what I'm doing and how I'm doing it and um, maybe it would inspire or encourage or teach someone else. So um, that's where we're at. And so I hope that that works out well. And let's see, we went yarn shopping yesterday because the stores opened up. So we went into Joanne's, which are, there were a couple of Joanne's that were already open. But Amanda's like really never yarn shopped before. Oh my goodness. I wanted to videotape so desperately. But we were, I think, in the yarn store. I felt bad if there were everybody waiting because we were there a long time. <laughs> Maybe two hours. Um, what did we buy? I bought, and we were going to do a video when we came back, but we were there so long. <laughs> At least an hour and a half. Uh, we were there so long they started kicking us out of the store. And when we got back, Amanda's like, Mom, I need you to help me with this, which I also wanted to videotape. Um, but it, it did, just wasn't the right thing. Uh, she finished her blanket and she was putting an edge on and she's never had to crochet on the, on the funky edge. Um, you know, the side edge where everything... Is it this stitch, this stitch, this stitch, this stitch, put it here, put it here. So I'm, she's, uh, it was coming out waving. I'm, you know, explaining and telling her, you know, you have to space the stitches and judge. And, you know, it, it takes practice. And she had a frog a whole side. And, oh, gosh, if you, if you saw her before, you know, that's like <laughs> terrible. She's like, I'm not frogging this again. I'm like, then space your stitches. And. <laughs> She's, she has her blanket in like 12 row sections and I'm like, you probably want about 15-ish 
stitches in your 12 rows up the side well she's doing 27 <laughs> stitches <laughs> and i'm wondering why she's wavy i'm like no that's too many you gotta uh, but that's too big of a space and so finally like on the third try i'm like look and i came over and showed her but she wanted to do it herself and um she did it and and then it looked really good and she's um uh, which I hate doing. I tell her, I said, you know, I always have to end up frogging that once or twice too because it's hard to judge. And if you're not told how many stitches you need, then you just like, for me, it's like, I don't know. I'll just wing it and see how it works out, you know? Um, so that's, that's where we were with that. And, uh, I wanted to videotape that too. So I bought at Joanne and, um, they had all their, Lion, uh, the Caron one pound. No. Yeah. Not the with love stuff. Cause that's like a, it says it's a four way, but it's like a three. Um, but the Caron one pound that was on sale 40% off. So they normally charge 10 99. Um, I don't know what the 40% off was, but I bought three red one because I needed for the crochet along, uh, I'll need but I bought, you know, the big, the big ones. Um, I'll need more red for that. I used, for mine, I, I wanted Red Heart Super Saver, but I did have two skeins of um, Stitch Studio in red, in a really pretty red. I love this red. This is the red I used, I'm using. Um, and I liked the red and so I wanted to put it in the blanket and I thought I had enough. Um, but the other yarns were Super Saver. So anyway, I was going to use Super Saver, uh, but I'm going to use the Karen one pound in red. Um, and I bought a white in that. So I bought three red and a white of the big ones, but I'm going to also use the red and the white in my Van Halen blanket because I've been told this is the right red to use. You know, just the, I think it's called cherry red. I don't know, it's red. Just like crayon red. And I don't know why I thought the Van Halen blanket or the Van Halen guitar was a deep red, but it's apparently like a cherry red. So that's why I bought three of them because I'll need, I'll use one for the crochet or part of it or whatever for the crochet along. And then hopefully that'll be enough. And if not, it's a normal, I can just go buy it just like Super Saver. They had Super Saver on sale online and for curbside pickup. And I originally did that because it was 30% off. It was on sale plus it was 30% off anything online, regular and sale and everything priced. So it was going to be a good deal, but they were really busy. Their computers broke, blah, blah, blah. They didn't pull my order. They said I could go get the yarn myself and they would still uh, you know, give me the sale prices, but they didn't have the yarn that I ordered. <laughs> they didn't have all of the yarn that I ordered. So I'm like, so I just bought the, um, Caron instead. Um, what else do I got? Oh, oh, oh Amanda bought. <laughs> she was so funny. <laughs> she was looking at the Caron one pounder or the Caron, uh, jumbo, the, the variegated. And she's falling in love with all these different ones, like four of the different ones with, and colors that I would have never expected. So then she wants to get coordinating colors to make more blankets that coordinate with these colors. And she keeps picking out more and more and more. <laughs> now you have to understand Amanda's really nervous about becoming a yarn, a yarn hoarder like her mother. <laughs> and she loves all the colors and she's like, and it's on sale. So I really do have to buy it. <laughs> And I'm like, well, you don't, but you know, I buy yarn when it's on sale because that's the best time to buy it, right? And so anyway, she picked out, what did she pick out? I don't even remember. Um, I don't think she bought, she was really loving this pink and, and she's like, well, I really should buy it, but I, I, are, you know, I already have a pink variegated yarn at home, you know, because she bought the, the hugs yarn, um, from premiere, no, from, um, where we get that from Mary Maxim, I think. And, uh, <laughs> she's like, I need another bag. I don't have anywhere to put all this, <laughs> like to display it in her house. 
Um, uh, so she's really funny. I gave her another project bag and um, she didn't buy the pink. She bought something that's, I think it had a purple in it. I don't remember. Uh, and some coordinating colors. And then she shopped in my yarn room when we got home. And then she decided that there's like five more projects worth of yarn in my yarn room that she wants. <laughs> and she's like, I'm not taking it because I don't have anywhere to put it. And I'm not. <laughs> and she says, how do you make this? How do you decide? I said, I obviously don't. That's why I have all this yarn. <laughs> and she's like, ah. I said, it's kind of, she collects lipsticks. I mean, that's her, that's her jam. And I'm like, it's kind of like being in the lipstick aisle, right? You can't decide which color, so you buy them all. <laughs> she's finally getting it ladies and gentlemen <laughs> she's like oh now I get it but she's like, mom I'm really afraid that I'm going to become a yarn hoarder like you and I yelled at you I can't do that now <laughs> I can't become a yarn hoarder like you and, then, and after yelling at you about it I'm like no you can it's all right I understand <laughs> and she says I'm really and truly what are you going to do with all that yarn when you die I said I'm not going to do anything with it when I die <laughs> that'll be up to you <laughs> So I'm like, oh gosh, the the YouTube subscribers will just love this conversation. <laughs> so I wanted to share that with you. Um, I hope this video doesn't take too long to upload because I thought that was going to be a five minute video and now I'm 21 seconds, 21 minutes because here I am. And there's nothing going on here. So <laughs> I needed somebody to talk to. So I guess I was talking to you. Um because you know it's raining so there's no campfires which you're not supposed to social distance and that but you can social distance at a campfire and look at my hair is a wreck because it was raining and we were shopping and we were working outside and but that's all right you guys have seen me in bad shape anyway um so that's all i got and i will upload this as soon as i can and thanks for listening thanks for watching thanks for subscribing and i'll talk to you next time hopefully it won't be a whole almost week oh my goodness what do you do when all you're working on is something you can't talk about? Ah. <laughs> See ya. Bye.